गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द लेशन न्यूट्रिशन इन द चैप्टर न्यूट्रिशन इन प्लांट्स इन दिस चैप्टर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अबाउट द मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन दैट इज ऑटोट्रॉपिक एंड हेटोट्रॉपिक इन दिस चैप्टर वी विल ऑल्सो स्टडी अबाउट द फोटो सिंथेसिस एंड डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ द हेटोट्रॉपिक प्लांट्स now before that we are going to study about the nutrition before going to the nutrition i just want to tell you that in your previous class 6 you must have studied about different life characteristics so what are these life characteristics these life characteristics are those characteristics that differentiate the living things from the non living things some examples such as response to stimuli growth excretion etc now but apart from them there is also one of the important life process without which a life can't be sustained and that is nutrition so we will deal here nutrition before that i want to uh, tell you that this is also one of the thing that we get every day and that is food we eat food every day why do we eat food yes we eat food to get energy so food is a substance that can be broken down by chemical processes in the body of an organism to give energy and the process by which food is taken in by an organism and uses by its body is called nutrition there are two modes of nutrition that is autotrophic and heterotrophic mode of nutrition if you are talking about the autotrophic nutrition then autotrophic nutrition is that mode of nutrition in which an organism makes its own food such as green plants green plants prepare their own food through a process known as photosynthesis and we will study about photosynthesis in our subsequent slides here auto auto means self and trophy means nutrition so those organism that can prepare their own food by themselves only are known as autotrophs or autotrophic organisms for example green plants now we are moving to the heterotrophic organisms the mode of nutrition in which an organism cannot make its own food and depends on other organism for food is called heterotrophic nutrition now here also hetero means different and trophy means nutrition so those organisms that follow heterotrophic mode of nutrition are called heterotrophs or heterotrophic organisms there are several examples of the heterotrophic organisms such as animals human beings and even the some plants ever in the autotrophic uh, mode of nutrition i have told you that the green plants can prepare their own food and here in the heterotrophic mode of nutrition i am telling you that plants are also there that can adopt the heterotrophic mode of nutrition here is a contradictory but some plants are there that lack lack some amount of the or some of the raw materials that are required for the process of photosynthesis such as some of the plants might contain chlorophyll might get water but it is not able to get the sufficient amount of the light so that they can prepare their own food some of the plants may be lacking in the chlorophyll some of the plants will not able to get water even if it is giving getting all the other raw material so in this sense they have to completely or partially depend on others for their food we will discuss all these things in our next slides so in this slides we have a studied about the two modes of nutrition in plants that is autotrophic and the heterotrophic 
Now, in our previous slides, we have studied about the different modes of the nutrition in plants. Now, the question is, how do plants prepare their food? Means, what are the different processes through which they can prepare their food? So, the process by which plants prepare their food by using the raw material is called photosynthesis. Here I have used the word raw material. So what do you mean by these raw materials or what are these raw materials? Their plants prepare their food with the help of certain raw materials such as water. Water is very important raw materials that is taken by the plants through the roots carbon dioxide carbon dioxide is one of the gas that remain present in the atmosphere and that is taken by the plants but there is also one of the specialized structure in the plant that help in taking the carbon dioxide now the third raw material is the sunlight sunlight as we know that the ultimate source of the light is sun. Sunlight is very important to perform the process of photosynthesis. Now the fourth one is the minerals. Minerals as the water is taken in from the soil by the roots in the same sense minerals are also taken up by the roots from the soil. It is also important for the process of the photosynthesis. So we have come up with the different raw materials but there is also one raw material that is very important without which yes all the raw materials are also very essential but the chlorophyll is one of the raw material it is one of the green pigment that gives the green color to the plants and that is present in the specialized structure called chloroplast which is responsible for the process of photosynthesis. Here I have used the word chloroplast that I will discuss later that is nothing but the one of the organelle present in the plant cell. So right now, now we are in condition to simplify or to know that what are the different raw materials through which the plants prepare their food. Now, this is the figure that is being depicted here. Here, through this figure, it has been shown that the different raw materials, how they are required and how they are taken in by the green plants. The first raw material is the carbon dioxide. As I have told earlier in the previous slide, the carbon dioxide is the gas that remain present in the atmosphere and that is taken up from the green plants. But it is also one of the specialized structure through which it can be entered into the green plants. That is known as stomata. Another raw material is the chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is one of the green pigment as you can see in the figure. It is the present in the green leaf that gives it the green color and we can say that since it is the present in the chloroplast that is the site of the photosynthesis. The third one, the third raw material is the sunlight. As we know sun is the ultimate source of light. So light is being taken from the sun. The fourth one is the water and minerals that has been shown in the figure that it has been taken from the soil by the roots. Both water and minerals are required for the process of the photosynthesis. In this figure, one, one oxygen gas is also been depicted. But this oxygen is not the raw materials required. But it is one of the byproduct of the photosynthesis. 
now when we'll discuss about the process of photosynthesis we will know how the oxygen is released as the by product so by explaining or by explaining the figure of the photosynthesis now we have the concrete image in our mind that how and what are the different raw materials required for the process of photosynthesis in the today's lesson we have uh, understood about the different mode of nutrition in plants before that we have taken into notice about the nutrition that is a mode of uh, it is a process by which the food is taken in by an organism and it is used by its body then also we came to know about the two modes of nutrition that is autotrophic mode of nutrition and heterotrophic mode of nutrition in the autotrophic mode of nutrition as the name suggests auto means self trophy means nutrition so the organisms prepare their own food the, for example green plants and the second mode of nutrition is the heterotrophic mode of nutrition as the name suggesting again hetero means another trophy means nutrition so the mode of nutrition in which the organisms depend on other animals for their food and source now in this slides i have given you some questions that you can answer by reading all these slides i have also told you about the what do you mean by nutrition what are the different general conditions required for photosynthesis and you have to diagrammatically explain the process of photosynthesis all these questions have been discussed in the previous slides so you can easily answer these questions after the questions i have also given you some assignment based on the taught sub topics today in this section some assignments have been given some multiple choice questions have been given and some very short and short and the long answers has been given so you can go through that